Today, we're going to show you how the 1037 ITRN can pick up pulses from the dirtiest, most difficult to read meters. First, I'm going to turn on the 2990 and let it load up. Here, I found the dirtiest, filthiest, grimiest ITRON meter I could find with an optical port at the top. Look at this! You can't even see it! How is anything going to read through this filth? It is so gross. Next up, I have Tesco's new 1037 ITRN specifically made to fit on the optical port for easy, reliable pickup. It has a DB9 connector to hook into any next-gen test board, and the pickup is actually built into the curved design that fits on top of the meter and blocks ambient light to read the pulses better and pick up weak pulses. Okay, so now I'm going to take the meter and plug it in to the 2990. Then I'm going to take the 1039 ITRN and place it over the pulse output of the meter and wrap the strap around the meter to secure it. And finally, I'm going to plug in the DB9 connector to the 2990. I'm going to run a quick pulse check here to show you that this can indeed read through that filth on the meter. Okay, I'm going to select the pulse align test here and we'll be able to see the pulses being counted on the screen of the 2990 here. There's one and there's two. And here on the 1037, you'll see the red light light up. And there it goes. So you can see we've captured the pulse readings right here and you saw the light flashing on the 1037 so we know we are good to go. So whether you have a weak pulse or a dirty cover or even a brand new meter, the 1037 ITRN senses those infrared pulses located at the 12 o'clock position on ANSI compliant meters for complete and automatic testing.